Are you struggling to potentially let go of something, whether it's a situation or person in your life? Well, today I'm going to talk about this and give you some ways you can start to move through this. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra special point for you then. Now, I've had challenges with letting go of things a lot of times in my life. And emotionally, we can get attached to things. I know I certainly have, right? Uh, whether that was I wanted to get a certain job or I wanted things to go a certain way in my career or a certain way in my business or I perhaps wanted things to go a certain way with a girl I was dating or hoping things would work out uh, in a friendship or getting just really attached to the to the outcome and being being frustrated when things didn't work out and then finding it really hard to let go emotionally. Now, we're human beings, of course. If we're going through a grievance process, whether that's something or someone, then it's going to be challenging. Yeah, if we can't truly let go of things or release some of our emotions or let our emotions feel heard and seen, then that can cause a lot of distress in us. And I know it certainly caused me a lot of harm thinking about a thing and not being able to let it go. So that's why I really want to talk about it today. And maybe you can relate. Maybe you're just at a point and you really want to let something go, whether it's a situation or person. Well, here are some points that I found particularly useful when I've done this. So the first one is set your outcomes and habits and know what you can do. So there's, there's kind of two parts of this, and maybe I could have made it into two points, but I think it's, it's relevant as one. So know what you want, right? You've got to know what you want. That's a key question uh, I've learned from my mentor. He's one of the best in the world at what he does. Um, and he always asks the question, what do you want? Focus on what you want. Now, maybe you're not getting what you want. So you'll start focusing on what you don't want. And that's very easy. That's a common human thing to start focusing on the negatives and trying to avoid it. So keep focusing on what you want. And also look at actually what are the habits you're in control of? What can you do? So, for example, you're not getting that job. What do you want? You want a new job. You want a, you want to advance in your career. Fantastic. So therefore, what are the habits you're in control of? Job searching, up leveling your skill set, researching the skills you need, talking to particular people. So start focusing on those habits. That's the first one. The second one, list the negatives that are coming up when you're trying to let go of things. What are the thoughts? What are the beliefs that are coming up? I can't let go of this. And therefore that means for me, because the meaning we put to things can really create our emotions. If you lose an opportunity and you're like, well, I lost that opportunity, um, Maybe it's a business opportunity. I lost that opportunity because I'm useless, I'm pathetic, I'm hopeless, I always mess up. That's a completely different meaning to something like, I lost that business opportunity. I've got an opportunity to grow and find something that resonates more with me and take a lot of learning from this. Completely different meaning is going to create completely different thoughts and therefore completely different feelings. So start listing some of these negatives that are coming up and start writing down what are the meanings you're putting it. And then actually start looking at what may be some more empowering meanings that you could start looking at. And then the third one, think about a time when something did open up for you, something was in flow, something was working. What were you doing? What's the sequence you're doing? Were you attached to the outcome or were you just focusing on what you could do? Because we can actually model success from ourselves. I found areas in my life I've just naturally done really well at. Things like podcasting, I just grew because all I focused on was creating consistent content and sharing my message, and it grew. Other people go out and they just focus on their numbers all the time. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do look at my stats and I'm like, okay, how many uh, thousands of downloads I'll get and things like that because I need to know what's working. Yet, if I was just solely focused on that and I didn't look at my habits of creating messages, understanding what people are wanting and focusing on that more, then I wouldn't be as successful as I am in podcasting. And I can use that and model that in other areas because there's other areas I don't do so well. I do do really well in my health and fitness right now because all I focus on is what I need to be eating and be realistic in myself. I'm going to have the odd treat now and then. 
it's not been so strict, but focus on what I can eat and what I ex what exercise and what works for me. And I stick to it and make it sustainable. There's other areas of my life where it's not going so well. Things like intimate relationships or certain finances in the past, like challenges I or knockbacks or setbacks in business that I've had. Right. So start. And then I've been able to identify areas I've been working in and how that's worked out for me. And that's how you can really start looking at an area and flow and then start taking what's working, not getting so attached to something and letting go of the outcome and therefore being able to follow something that's working and move away from what's not. Now, I've got an extra point for you as well on letting go. And this is key. It's so simple, though, and that people often think about. I don't, know, don't always think about this. Get someone to support you, whether that's a life coach, a mentor, or a therapist, someone to support you. I'd ideally suggest from my own personal experience, a, a life coach. Just get a general life coach to begin with because they'll be allowed, they'll help you facilitate conversations that you need to express, that you need to say that, that perhaps you're not aware of some of your limiting beliefs that are blocking you. And that's really going to allow you to understand some of these emotions that have been bottled up deep below and bring them to the surface and allowing you to let go of things a lot more effectively. So that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You're improving other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.